news is after invocations invocation snub satanists hold infernal ritual outside uh, Washington capital is that did I read that right yeah um, okay thanks Rufka. <laughs> okay so big this is the summary of this news is because no legislation legislator would allow Satanists to deliver an invocation inside the Capitol to open a sessions members of the Washington state chapter of the satanic temple held an infernal ritual just outside the building as if to prove the Satanist point some Christians who showed up to protest even held the sign saying Satan has no rights so much for religious freedoms but the Satanists took it all in stride this is actually this is actually, why would they not be able to do this like why is every other religion able to do this like Muslims did this Hindus have done this Christians obviously Jews everybody has done this but they have not let the Satanists do this what is their excuse they have zero excuse there's no on what grounds are they not letting the Satanists do this usually when you give an invocation you have to get a legislator to sponsor you mm. and that's probably why is that they, they can't find a legislator to sponsor them I'm guessing. I don't know what guessing. the rules are in Washington State, but that's usually the case. And um, that's, that's a very how good a trick. Lot of that's a very, that's very good tactic and trick to not be like, we're not denying anybody. You just have to get a sponsor. So that's a right. very clever trick that they have. That's how it usually works. Mm. And um, but there have been cases where they've been able to prove that they are maliciously refusing to sponsor them, you know, because they've sponsored, you know, they've asked, you know, numerous times, you know, over years and years and years and years and years. Mm -hmm. I think there was a case in Pennsylvania where they finally ruled. They said, yeah, you know, you are deliberately, you know, not allowing a secular invocation. Um, and the thing with the Satanic Temple is that in the United States, they are actually an official religion. Yeah. So recognized by the IRS just, and everything. Yeah, they have 501c3 tax status. Um, they're recognized by the IRS, and the uh, the way that you know in the United States that you are a for real religion, totally recognized, is if you're in the army. You know. Um, so for because the army has to recognize people when they die. Um, they have Wiccan in there, pagans, all kinds of things. They have, the army has a huge list of what they recognize as religions. But the Satanic Temple is a recognized religion in the United States. So it's really interesting. It's not just a secular invocation. It's not just some group. It's an actual religion. So I'm guessing they couldn't get a sponsor is how but it works. Let me just, uh, for people who don't know, I think most of our audience already knows, but for most people that don't know, um, the Satanic Temple, even though they're officially recognized as a religion, these people are not religious. The, the Satanic Temple is not really Satanic. They are like fake Satanic. They're actually atheists. Um, and uh, the, real sat the, pe the real people that worship Lucifer actually don't like these people because everybody's paying attention to them and not to the actual people that do actually worship Lucifer. These people don't believe in God or Satan or anything. The Satanic Temple has been used as a way to fight anti-secularism in the United States. And they have done so beautifully, right? By every time religion is allowed in somewhere, um, the Satanic Temple steps in and like, well, we should be allowed there as well. And it's so good because, you know, the, the two groups that Christians are really get panic when they are allowed in public spaces or in government institutions are the Islamic, um, you know, the Islamic ones and the satanic ones, right? So they're like, oh, yeah, religion should be allowed in government and in schools and in public places until one of these two shows up, right? Uh, but the problem with the Islamic one is that, so... There's three options, the Islamic one, the Satanic one, or Flying Spaghetti Monster relatives, uh, or that kind of parody stuff. The problem with the Flying Spaghetti Monster is that it's so obviously fake that the Christians will not get upset if that makes it anywhere. So they're not going to be, they're not going to 
allow secularism just for the sake of n- stopping flying spaghetti monsters or stuff like that. The Islamic stuff is not a good way of scaring Christians because we don't want Islamic government as well. It's not just Christianity that we don't want in government and in, in pub, um, publicly fund, not public places, publicly funded institutions, right? Uh, we want Islam out as well. The satanic temple is the perfect solution because it's a fake religion that Christians don't see as a fake religion, okay? Even though these people are atheists and they don't actually worship the devil, the Christians lose their minds whenever they show up in government institutions and they, you know, they, this is the only way where, where you can get Christians in the United States to support secularism. When, when satanic pamphlets and coloring books shows up in schools, now they see the value of secularism. And they, at that point, they want religion out of school and out of everywhere. Okay? So this is why, how be, the beautiful thing that the satanic... You guys have to value the satanic temple. Atheists and secularists should really value the satanic temple in the United States. Go donate to them. They have cool cards. I have stuff. their seven yeah. fundamental tenets if anybody wants uh, to hear them so they know. No, not today, but go check it okay. out. But I also have their... Yeah, just, uh, just to mention, don't confuse it with the satanic church because the satanic church is the actual satanic. Oh. Right, the church of Satan. Those are the real devil worshippers. <laughs> Those are the real ones. They're not very big, yeah. though. They're not very serious. Yeah. They, 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 Mostly in Mexico, I guess. Yeah, these people, these satanic temple people, they took all their attention away from them, and everybody just... That's why I think they don't like them. By the way, the, this quote from the, the Christians that showed up as a counter-protest, their, their sign was saying, Satan has no rights. That is so unfair to Satan. Because Satan was the first humanist even though he himself was not a human he's the first creature that stand stood up against god for humans when there was nobody else like humans were slaves god was like yeah you just be here naked like animals and just worship me and if uh, we lied to humans and like if you eat this apple you die and Satan was like, no, actually, if you eat this, this is the apple knowledge. If you eat this, you're going to become like gods. And look, they ate it. And look what we're doing right now. We're like gods. So he freed the human race. And he fought like he was. Satan was the first humanist fighting for human rights. And now humans are holding side saying Satan has no rights. We should. Yeah. So that's so unfair. We should certainly. I mean, I don't understand. How could people read the Genesis and not see the devil as the good guy in the story? Right. Um, it, it was like, hey, the fruit of knowledge. God was like, yeah, don't eat that. Satan was like, this is knowledge. If you eat this, you're gonna, you're not gonna die. You're gonna become like gods. Knowledge is the key to ruling over the world. And get who was right? This Satan was right. I know I, a lot of people are like, oh, the snake was not the devil. But I'm just going what the com- based on what the common belief is. Okay, and I know I, it was. I just- and I know the Bible doesn't say it was an apple. It was, but the Bible just said it was a fruit. So it could have been a pineapple for what I don't know. It could have been anything. It could have been any. But go Apricot. Okay, but go ahead. Yeah, just, just to everyone, just go and watch if you haven't already. Netflix is Lucifer. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. No. Yeah. Just, just go and watch. I don't like show. detective shows. It's, it's awesome. Right. It's awesome. If you if you're into religion and stuff, and if you like Satan, that it's it's an awesome show. There's also the documentary about the Satanic Temple called Hail Satan, which is great. Mm. But I wanted to read the um, the thing that the Satanic Temple said about their event to you know just to again um, elucidate what Armin was saying about the Satanic Temple, what they're about is that their event was about promoting religious purity. And he, the satanic uh, beliefs of the satanic temple are misunderstood and that their primary values are empathy, reason, bodily autonomy, and justice. Smithy is saying some satan, satanists really do believe in the magic. Um, yeah, um, I'm, I'm sure, like, I don't know, are you talking about the people with behind the satanic temple? Because they attract so many people that I'm sure they have, they attract all kinds of people that believe in all sorts of things. But the main people that started the satanic temple and are behind the satanic temple, at least the main people there don't believe in any of this stuff. And they realize mm-hmm. that God and Satan and all that stuff is just, sim- they use it as symbolism. As 
symbolic opposition. They use Satan, Satan as the symbolic opposition. Uh, Benjamin and on Facebook is the top comment, and he's only the top comment because he got a lot of laugh emojis, not because people agree with him. He's saying atheist republic will always remain neutral when it, when it is about the devil because he is the main idea behind the whole thing. So apparently we at Atheist Republic are secretly, um, our agenda is to um, to do the bidding of the devil. And that's what, why we're doing what we're doing. Glad to know I didn't know. Yeah! <laughs> 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 okay, so news. thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're if you not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore, but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. So